I am Susan Turrets Cooper. I moved to Dallas from Illinois. When I arrived, I did not have severe bronchitis nor bronchiectasis, a chronic condition. In Dallas, I have been hospitalized several times with bronchitis and I have bronchiectasis for life. Look at this respiratory equipment, a nebulizer. I actually use two inhalers and a flutter valve. I am 74 years old and will have to live with my respiratory conditions. However, my heart goes out now to young children and children yet unborn who will require <coughs> asthma and conditions like mine and have to use inhalers because Dallas air is filthy with pollution. According to a Cook Children's Hospital study in 2008 to 2009, the Dallas-Fort Worth has a child asthma rate three times the national average at a rate of 20 to 25 percent. The pollution is actually visible. On the worst days, my husband and I notice a purplish gray shroud that hangs over our area. It is laden with methane, as benzene, and a vicious brew of poisons, which we inhale with every breath. How many times have I testified at TCEQ hearings and the EPA hearings and displayed this equipment to emphasize my situation and our air is as polluted as ever? How many times have I quoted the American Lung Association in my testimonies that gave Texas an F for failure, failure to meet sensible air cleanliness standards? The Dallas-Fort Worth area has been a non-attainment since 1991. The time is now immediately to haul fracking permanently and stop coal-fired power plants from spewing filth and respiratory irritants as well as car carcinogens into our area. The Almighty gave us a planet, a home, with clean air and safe water. It is our duty to nurture our world and protect it. EPA, I plead with you, therefore, to take over the management of our air quality from the TCEQ, establish severe, meaningful, and enforceable regulations on polluters to give us this clean and safe air we deserve to breathe. <coughs> EPA, we are counting on you. James Moffat, followed by Sandy Grayson.